From the 700 WLW Newsroom, here's Brian Combs. Big stories we're talking about on the big one today, remembering Carl Linder Jr. Today was the day a memorial procession took place across much of Cincinnati. Started downtown, made its way all the way into Kenwood, stopped at his favorite restaurant, Trio, close to the Kenwood Mall that he built. Along the way, there were a number of stops where people were gathered outside Music Hall. There was a band playing as the motorcade went past. This motorcade involved several police officers, the hearse carrying Linder's body, as well as an old milk truck from the UDF days. That first UDF store that he had in Norwood, one of the locations where the procession stopped today. People lined the streets of downtown as well as it went by, went past his headquarters on 4th Street and the Great American Tower that is now home to Great American Insurance Headquarters. Linder will be remembered in a private memorial service sometime in the future. Occupy Cincinnati protesters were taken away early this morning, moved out of Pyatt Park first time in about two weeks. The police decided to make arrests instead of citations. No word on what changed, why police decided to start hauling these protesters away. Several members of council had signed an order telling police they thought they should start enforcing the law that doesn't let people stay in the park after 10 o'clock. Gave police in the city a chance to clean up the park, though demonstrators are back there today. No word if there'll be more arrests overnight tonight. We're finding out now that it may have been financial problems that led the man in Zanesville to take his own life and release all of the exotic wild animals that he was keeping on a farm in Muskingum County. Terry Thompson apparently had a federal lien put on that land for taxes owed to the tune of $68,000. Only a couple of the animals are still alive. They are now at the Columbus Zoo. Almost 50 had to be killed. The state of Ohio is working on new laws that would ban the operation of private zoos. Governor John Kasich said they'd already started work on this, but said it's going to take a while to adopt these laws to make sure that they are effective and enforceable. Former Reds pitcher Scott Williamson is trying to get rid of his World Series ring, the one that he won with Boston. Back in 2004, when the Red Sox broke the curse of the Bambino, finally won the World Series, could pull in as much as $200,000, according to the online auction site that has the ring for sale. Williamson said he wants to use the money to build a sports complex, a year-round training center for baseball for kids in southeast Indiana. Another former Red is guaranteed a World Series ring this year. Arthur Rhodes is pitching for the St. Louis Cardinals, but earlier this year, he played for the Texas Rangers, so either way, he'll get a World Series ring, share of the money. Rhodes was the GOAT last night in the game, though, at St. Louis in the ninth inning. He gave up the game-tying sack fly to Josh Hamilton. Texas is now even the series at one game apiece. Next game coming up on Saturday from Texas. You can hear all the action on Cincinnati's 1530 ESPN.